Hi, my name is Adam Lavely, and I'm here from Cerebrus to talk about how you can use our wafer scale engine for HPC applications. The Cerebrus CS2 system is the world's largest and most powerful accelerator, and we're using it to improve time to solution for a large variety of computational applications. We right now have applications running on our hardware in the ML AI space. We are augmenting HPC applications using AI, and we're doing traditional HPC. All of these applications that are now being accelerated, accelerated on our wafer were bottlenecked on standard hardware before. These bottlenecks are well known. We see time and time again, the same three issues pop up, causing applications to scale poorly. These are common across AI and HPC type workflows. Many problems are nonlinear and have communication with neighbors often or require all to all type communication regularly making the fabric one of the most important aspects for a cluster of any size. Other applications are bottlenecked by the speed at which data can be accessed, limited by cache sizes and the speeds and cache speeds at the processor and by the system bandwidth for ingestion. Finally, the computational complexity, either the vast amount of compute that needs to be done or applications that have irregular requirements for both data and instructions can be detrimental to times to solution. And all of these, or as our problem sizes get larger, these problems get exaggerated. Our solution to this, the wafer scale engine that is the heart of our CS2 system. The chip is built to enable high performance on workloads that are constrained on typical hardware by the number of cores available, the local memory bandwidth, and the communication either between cores or off the chip. The chip itself is huge, roughly the size of a dinner plate, but by keeping all these cores close together and connected, we can accelerate computational workflows like never before. Using this specialized hardware that pushes out the constraints detrimental to large AI and HPC problems, we're capable of times to solutions that will require tens to hundreds of GPUs for some of the applications that we are already working with. One example of an HPC application running on a Cerebra system is a CFD application at Nettle that uses a stabilized version of the biconjugate gradient method for the linear solver. This type of problem is typically limited on each core by the memory speed as you cycle through the elements, and also in size by the fabric speed as you communicate between processors. The wafer scale engine is built to handle this type of problem well. Our local memory is one cycle away from the processor, making iterating through the elements lightning fast. Our fa <clears throat> Our fabric is high bandwidth and low latency. Putting this together, a single wafer is capable of outperforming the cluster that Nettle had been running on by a factor of 200. In addition to traditional HPC and traditional AI, we've been working on blending the two. One of our partners with this is Lawrence Livermore National Lab. We have a wafer scale engine there that is accelerating the multi-physics package called Hydra. By replacing a model for atomic kinetics, and radiation done on the traditional cluster, the deep neural network running on the wafer, Livermore researchers have shown that they can greatly reduce the time to solution for the problem. This work is part of a broader initiative at Livermore that aims to blend traditional high-performance computing workloads with artificial intelligence to create cognitive simulation, or COGSIM for short. As we have talked about, we built the Cerebrus systems to overcome some of the common constraints for AI and HPC problems. I want to illustrate how a wafer can improve your time to solution for problems that are currently bottlenecked. First, are you suffering from poor scaling? Many of the applications have algorithmic scaling issues that arise because of the amount of communication that uh, happens or the regularity of that communication. The Cerebrus system is built for communication. The fabric allows for core-to-core -core communication that is high bandwidth and low latency. And not just that, but this fiber connects 850,000 cores together, all of which can pass data to a neighbor in a single cycle. Our system can be programmed in blocks or programmed where each core has a unique instruction set. So the number of processing elements combined with the ability to pass data quickly allows us to tackle problems where all to all communication is required or where the cores have to pass data at every cycle incredibly well. Another group of applications that have been able to be accelerated are those that are constrained by data access. This constraint acts locally, how fast the memory can be read into the registers on each core, as well as globally, how fast we can feed the system with data. The CS2 system can do both of these things incredibly well. On the wafer itself, 
we have 40 gigabytes of SRAM that is uniformly distributed across all of our cores. Each core has access to its own private memory pool and the memory can be put in the register in a single cycle. So this allows for a dramatic speed up of any problem where your cache size or your cache speed have become the limiting factor. Additionally, our CS2 system can be connected to external systems and is able to pass data onto the chip incredibly quickly. If you're streaming data and doing analysis on the fly, or if your problem is large enough that you would need to feed in only portions of the problem at a time, the wafer engine can handle that and do it well. Most applications will see their times to completion go down by more than an order of magnitude, and we can enable system sizes that were untenable on standard hardware. We are excited because we believe that our wafer scale engine can accelerate workloads that are currently bottlenecked by existing hardware limitations. Between our fabric bandwidth and latency, our system size and flexibility, and our data access speeds, almost all problems that hamper scaling and performance on standard hardware can be overcome. I'm also personally excited because the dramatic shift in constraints opens the doors for new algorithm development, new scientific inquiries, and new discoveries. If you have any questions about how all your application would be able to take advantage of the Cerebrus wafer scale engine, we'd love to hear from you. Please reach out to discuss how we can help enable your applications. Thank you.